this is the plaintiff, Kate. She says she bought a pellet stove to keep warm in the winter from the defendant. And the woman sold her an old, discontinued model without telling her. The thing never worked from the get-go. The defendant defrauded her into thinking she was buying a working stove, which would provide heat. And she's suing the sneak here and now for the $1,140 she paid. This is the defendant, Ann Rosa. She says the stove worked fine when she sold it. The woman fired it up and tested it before she bought it. And now that it's broken, it's her fault? <laughs> she thinks not. Mechanical things break from time to time. They can be repaired and the plaintiff needs to make the repairs because the stove is now hers. End of story. She's accused of being a cold, cold person. All parties, please hit your right hand. You see it? Come to order, please. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, Amy. Okay. You've asked to be referred to only as Kate. Yes, thanks. Kate is suing Ann Rosa for $1,140 for a pellet stove that you bought from her, which, according to you, does not work. So it's the price you paid, which is $800, plus money that you've put into it. Tell me what yes. happened. Um, I saw an ad on Craigslist, so I put out calls and emails to those people, and they were all kind of this low. This is for a pellet stove? For a pellet stove. All right, for the uninitiated from <laughs> Miami, Florida, tell me what a pellet stove is. A pellet stove is pretty exciting because it's something that you can put wood pellets, a pre-shaped kind of thing, in there, and the stove takes it from there. You set it on a, a temperature, and your heat comes from that, and it's an inexpensive What's it look? Way. You have a picture of it? Yes, I do. That is the lovely stove. And what do you do? You plug it into the wall? You plug it in. It does uh, take electricity. So you hope you're Do you have to have a vent? Uh, yes. It has to be vented out through a chimney. How big is it? Show me with your hands. Oh, pretty big. Yeah, it's pretty big. So you were excited about this because a new pellet stove costs what? Oh, they can cost 2000 to 4000 on up. And so it was for sale for 800 Yes. Do you have the actual ad? I don't. Okay. Let me say again, until I'm blue in the face, to everyone who ever buys anything on eBay <laughs> or on uh, Craigslist or anywhere else, if you want to be able to tell me it's not as promised, you got to be able to show me what was promised and what happens. Um, I had called a lot of cheap ones, and I didn't know who, which stove Ann had. And uh, it was actually my top choice, which was the $800 one, which was more expensive, but I really liked the brand. Did you see it working? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, it came in. Um, she had the AC on. It was in September. She tried to do the thermometer or the thermostat. It didn't work. But the reset button uh, worked. It turned it on, and it was loading the pellets. Everything was beautiful. And I looked at it. I don't know what I'm doing. I've never bought a pellet stove. So I looked at it, and I kind of saw things and asked her about it. And she said, well, look it up. It's this brand, which is... Uh, a Santa Fe. I had seen a, a panel that had said it was a contour, but she said, no, no, they're the same thing. Just look it up. And so that was fine. And it worked. And so I gave her 400 and 400 over the month of September. Then we arranged some way for me to get it. So she nicely offered that her son could help me. And he was really nice. $50, deliver uh, the stove for his gas money. And then I said, well, I'll need installation. And so we talked about that and pipes, and I'll pay him for the pipes, the extra pipes that go for the stove. So how much did you pay the son to bring it to you and install it? I, I probably paid him about two thirty, but again, don't I don't have a receipt. How much did you exactly. pay your son for that? Do you I have don't no know. idea. Okay. Okay. All right, and then what happens? And then so he installed it. It worked the first time, and it shut off. Uh, you know, once the temperature was, oh, well, the first time it didn't. It just went, and so I contacted a lot of people, and they said, well, maybe the thermostat went, and Ann said the same. And so I bought a $15 thermostat, thought, okay, fine. And it, the same thing happened, where it started up, and it would burn, and then it would reach a temperature, and then stop, and... That was about the last time it worked. Wait, the same thing happened that it would burn up, reach well, a temperature, and stop. That's what it's supposed to do, right? Yes, but it's supposed to actually go back on again, which if you look at a thermostat, oh, it would turn it back on when it, it gets It would not go cold. back on when it got cold. No, it wouldn't get, do that. Okay. So that's why we thought, well, it's maybe a thermometer or a thermostat or something like that. So, so then you put in a new thermostat, I, and what happened? 
that didn't address it. So I said, okay, I got to get repairmen. And at that point, it was dead in the water. Okay. And, and that, yeah. what was that point? That was how long after you uh, had it delivered? Uh, a couple of weeks. So did it work for the couple of weeks? Uh, only twice. I didn't, didn't need it. It was a warm time. Okay. Yeah. All right. So what did it need in order to make it working? The uh, repairman that she set me up with had said it was a control box, a wire harness. And what else? It's about $800, including uh, labor. What I did discover, though, when I did look and I, I saw, oh, it's a contour, and that was a discontinued stove, I began to think, okay, this is older than I thought it was. And How old did you think it was? Turns out to be pretty old, yeah. But don't you think you should have asked? Like, I do think what year I should is have this? asked. And it doesn't say the year on the, on the item? Did the ad ever say what year it was? No. And, and she and never misled you and said it was a different year. This, the issue had never come up. I don't think she was misleading me. I think the big, as I would say, smoking gun in this situation is that she had said she bought everything, replaced everything in the stove. Did she say the phrase everything or did she yeah. say control box? Yeah, and I have emails about that. that did everything. she say, let me see the emails that you okay. have. Did she give you the proof of the replacements that she had said she had made? Uh, I don't have a copy, but I think she does that says she got a control box. So then why does she have to return your money? What did she do wrong? I thought you were going to tell me that she claimed to have replaced the control box and that that wasn't true. Well, she did exchange the control box. Can I ask you a question? Did yeah. you, when, what day did you take possession of the stove? Uh, you know, it could be. What day did she take possession yeah, you, of the stove? Could you, uh, late October, November, I, you know. It yes. sounds like you bought a used item, yes. and then uh, it worked, and then when it stopped working, you're not happy about the used item because it's going to cost you a bunch of money to get fixed. What did she do wrong? One aspect. That is one aspect. But it, it worked twice. When I bought it, I bought it as a rebuilt stove. I used it for two years, not four years. And while I had it, I replaced or repaired anything that broke down while I had it. And one of those things is the control panel that she's talking about. She says it, that it's dated 2003. That's a manufacturer date. That's not an installation date. It's an older model stove, so but it's, it's not, gonna, But you don't think it's that old? I think it's six to eight years old. That's, that's how it was sold to me. But when you say everything has been replaced, you mean by the prior owner? Not by I mean, you? In, to in, in, in total. OK, did you ever replace a control box? Yes. I have a, a receipt for it right here. Okay, can I see that? Yes. Okay, so you sell it to her and you think your business is over, and when do you hear from her? It was a few weeks before she contacted me the first time. This is an email from the people who fixed it. Yeah. Those saying are... to you, I guess because you asked them. I asked them to show me everything right. that they, they put said. In the we stove. replaced the thermal couple, we replaced the feed motor, we cleaned the stove, and we replaced the control board. And what evidence do you have that the control board is not working? Um, that the wrong one was put in. Uh, yeah, but how, that, how can that be? Me. Because she used it a bunch after that, and you used it several times after that, and it was working when you went to look at it. I so. used it two times, and it may have been oh, one did of it work? those. It then, died yeah. when I got it. You know, it's one of those unlucky okay, moments. Okay, that's a $200 part. So It's what? a $400 part. Oh, she well, bought, you got to call the right people. She bought the wrong one. <laughs> oh, okay. What is it that she did wrong that would require her to return your money plus a bunch of money on top of that? The money you bought, paid for the thermostat, the money you paid her son to transport it. I mean, I, you've got to be able to show me that she committed some kind of fraud. I, I, know, I guess I don't want to bring up things. But um, I, I felt that it only worked twice and then died, and it was rigged. And it, it started with the reset button, not any other way that it's supposed to start. And so... But you knew that when you bought it. You're coming in here and saying, I want $1,140. Yeah, I How? Want... Did, she, did she lie to you in any way? Is there anything she said that was a fraud to you because it was a lie? I think it's a problem in that I don't know if she really intended... I think her... her she she was, has to have intended Yeah, it. I think it was not intention. The thing that confused me was I found something out that I'm going to give him instead of say out loud. Well, no, and that, that no made there's me no feel, give the bailiff yeah. something for me to see oh, secretly. Okay. We're in open okay. court. But yeah. it was something that made uh, that I found on the internet that made me question whether I had been ripped off because I had been told that everything was replaced and it's going to work and it's great. And then it worked two times, and then it didn't at all. So what did you find on the Internet that caused you concern? Um, it was a legal case that, that there had Involving been... Involving the defendant? Yes, and that it, she had just been arrested. Were you arrested for something? I was arrested by mistake. The case has been closed. The charges were withdrawn. 
um, and it really has nothing to do with this. Okay, I'm, I, I'm just going to ask you about it because mm -hmm. there's an aura now okay. that you would like to erase if, in fact, the yes. Okay, of so course. I want to give you an opportunity to do that. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. What were the charges? Welcome back to the People's Court, Harvey Levin here. So would you ever buy appliances on eBay? No, I wouldn't. Because? It's, it's very risky. You because? Don't, you're not sure what you're going to get. But now you can say that about anything on eBay, right? I mean, it's, you got to look at reviews and you got to like see if it's like a top seller, you know. Well, from... But the problem with it is whether it's a top seller or not, it's used. Would you buy it? Would you buy a stove on eBay? Yes, I would. It's, are you, is it a crapshoot? You know what, to be honest with you, eBay gives you like guarantees and stuff like that. So if I can get my money back, why not? Okay, okay, fair enough, going inside the courtroom. Three years ago, the, the New York State Labor Department claims that they overpaid me and that I owed them. That they overpaid you for what? For unemployment. Okay. They, they didn't agree with my interpretation of their rules. Okay, they called me up and I said, no problem. If that's the way you see it, we'll start a payment arrangement and that's fine. So I waited, they sent me a bill and I wrote out my first check and sent it. They cashed it. And one day, some state troopers show up at my house and arrest me. So uh, here I'm thinking I'm paying back this money, and some overzealous guy in Albany decides he's going to send the troopers after he me. He put, put a warrant out? Or huh? Like, he, he put a warrant for your arrest? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was charged with three felonies. I don't even know what they are. Okay. So, <laughs> Wait, so what did they do? Did they put handcuffs on you? Yeah. And then they took you where? To the st state trooper barracks. And then they gave you access they to the computer so you could show me. the canceled check. Yeah. So how did it resolve itself? I had to go to court. I had to go to court. But they didn't take you into the pokey. They <laughs> no, let you no, out. I, I never spent any time in jail. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> you have a felony warrant. You have to be taken to jail. So how did they arrange? They released me on my own recognizance. But that's usually a judge call. So did somebody yeah. somebody call the judge and said? I a judge, yeah. Oh, my goodness. It was very embarrassing. And you know, the loose. The new, listen to this. And you, then the newspaper prints it? Or yeah. it's on the internet? Usually when they print those things in a newspaper, it's like a blotter entry. So-and-so, so-and-so, so-and-so. Right. So no, they thought I was so special. I got my own ar article. <laughs> Not only do you get your own article, but they put some generic handcuffs hands on the front of your article. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And then what? Did you continue to pay? Of course. Right. Oh, my God. Well, I, actually... My beneficiary, a very lovely man. Um, What's your beneficiary? What's that me, mean? Gave me $8,000 to daddy? pay it right away. What's a beneficiary? Your sugar He's daddy? my boyfriend. Your boyfriend? Yes. My beneficiary? <laughs> Seems to me you're the beneficiary. Yeah. <laughs> well, who knows? <laughs> okay, look, this is exactly like um, like a used car sale. And, yeah. you know, you're right. When you buy a used car and you bring it home and it doesn't work, the law is that okay. once you buy it, it's yours. When okay. you buy a used item, it is an as-is item. So yep. you best make sure before you buy it that the thing is what you want it to be. And in all actuality, this thing may be what you want it to be because it sounds like they're so expensive that putting a little money into it will save you a bunch of money and pounds, but that's not my problem. Yep. That is your problem. And it's certainly not her problem mm -hmm. unless you can show there's a lie, something that she said to you, misrepresentation. But we know that the control yep. box issue was not a misrepresentation because somebody yep. she paid somebody to fix it. As far as this case is concerned, my verdict in this case is for the defendant. And I wish you luck and I hope thank you can you. get it going. All right. Oh, thank you. Bye, folks. Mm -hmm. All right. So it's interesting that it's just like a cart and as is sale when you buy something like that, unless you can prove some sort of misrepresentation. So what have you learned in this case here? I didn't know. I didn't know the law, and it seemed reasonable to mm -hmm. me. Something yeah, to remember yeah. is uh, always to remember. Yeah. is always save the yeah. ad. That's for everybody Absolutely. when you buy off of uh, Craigslist, eBay, yeah. anything like that. Yeah. That would help. So it was just a big loss, but you know. All right. So whatever. what do you do now with the, with the with the thing, <sighs> with the monstrosity? I mean, it's really yeah. Uh, the guys are saying just dump it, just dump it. It's really old, you know, but. You I don't know. You're gonna it's fix a kind it winner to th this year, so right. I'm I'm okay. All right, that's, yeah. that's good. Okay, <laughs> all right, right down this way. Okay, so she's happy that it's not cold out. All right, come on over here and uh, what, what's your what's your feeling about getting ha hauled into court again? <laughs> you're always it, getting hauled into court. What's with you? Uh, I'm in the wrong place at the right time. <laughs> yeah, it, it's no big deal. I'm glad that uh, that it went the way it went. But if it hadn't, you know, when you do these things, you just it's the luck of the draw. Were you glad when you sold that thing? And did you say, oh, thank goodness I got rid of that no, thing? No, to be honest with you, I was offered um, 
a one-year-old um, pellet stove from the guy across the street who has a back problem, can't pick up the pellets. He, was, oh. he wanted to sell it to me for half price. He just bought it last this is year. Great. I would not ha I'd still be using that stove if I didn't have that opportunity. Okay. Harvey? Okay, uh, Kerr, short and sweet, you can always negotiate to get a warranty, even if they say it's as is and they don't want to give one. You can always negotiate. And that will do it for this case. Litigants for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now.